Well, it's been a while, hasn't it, since I uploaded a Rocket League video. So t today I just wanted to discuss a little bit about where my Rocket League videos have been and what I plan on doing in the future, because I have some pretty cool ideas for that. And so this is just uh, some of the brawl in the background, because I haven't watched any of it yet, really. I've watched up until this point in the video. Uh, it's, I believe, the second match showed on Lawler's stream of it. And I haven't played Rocket League. Uh, today would have been two months since the last day I played Rocket League, which is nuts, considering how much I played it. I'd put in like 20 hours a week, and I loved it, and I was in Grand Champ. But then coronavirus came, and everybody started using the internet, and I couldn't play because I kept getting kicked and terrible lag. And so for like a week, I didn't play, and then I just fell out of it because I was like, oh, I'm going to be rusty. I don't know, I probably shouldn't anyway. I was probably putting too much time into it. But I love the game, and I wish I didn't give up on it back then. And uh, over the like next few weeks, I was kind of okay with it. I was like, yeah, I need to move on in my life, probably do something more adulty or whatever. But then, you know, like, I, it would get to the point where if I saw a squishy video pop up in my feed, I'd get, like, nostalgic and emotional, like, oh, I miss Rocket League. And I wouldn't watch it, because I'd get sad that I didn't play Rocket League anymore. But instead of picking it up again and playing and grinding just to get back to where I was, I let it go. But I placed Champ 3, anyways, yesterday. Um, I didn't play for a month and, like, 30 days. And, like, I didn't even pick up a controller. I probably watched 20 minutes of Rocket League videos. And I ended up picking, up picking it up, and I placed Champ 3. And I honestly can't tell you how motivating that was, that I didn't lose as much skill as I thought I had. And so it really made me remember how much I love the game, and that I'm, I wish I kept playing it. And so the past two days I've been playing a ton, and I've been loving it. And I've been watching the Brawl because I've been gone for two months. I was right about the time that, the, um, that G2 won the North American RLCS. It was about the time I stopped playing. Because uh, when I came home and everything, everybody was using the internet, but the broadband was so slow and stuff, and everything just kind of fell apart then for as far as my Rocket League habits. And I didn't like watching Rocket League because I got sad that I was like, oh man, I was on Grand Champ, I was looking to play some like rank A games and all stuff, but now I'm never going to be as good as that. But now that I'm back, I'm, I missed so much of the pro scene that I need to catch up. It's, it's a shame that I missed it, but it's kind of cool to be able to catch up on it and like binge it now that... Corona's been happening or whatever, that everything's been kind of slowing down. It's like, wow, this is actually something to really look forward to now. When I wake up, I have a bowl of cereal or a protein bar, whatever it is, and I just watch some of the brawl. And I want to put the brawl on specifically because this is something I plan on uh, covering soon that I'm back. I want to do some reviews of it. Maybe, like, I'm going to save the finals once I get to the finals. I still don't know who won. Um, I'm gonna Once I get to the finals, I'm just going to kind of, like, record myself live watching it and analyzing it. I'm sure you've seen companion streams for... Overwatch League or RLCS or anything else like that, like Johnny Boy and Lawler. I know Lawler does companion streams every now and then. Stuff like that, I really miss the game and I want to be able to get back into it. And so I think it'd be fun to kind of analyze it live. Um, and also, uh, I want to get good myself and so it's kind of fun to watch the pro scene and see how they play. I'd love to start doing player profiles now that RLCS Season 10 has been announced. I actually am so excited for it. I really think it's cool the way they're doing it now, the circuit style, where they'll have like three regional events and then the... Um, major. I love that. I think it's really cool. It almost reminds me of like tennis, of like the majors. We have like the Wimbledon, we have Wimbledon and the US Open and I think that's really cool. And I, but yeah, anyways, I've missed so much in the pro scene, like with Cloud9 and all these other teams and Mouse Sports, literally my two favorite teams in RLCS leaving. I'm like, dang, now I need to find a new team. It's like, so here's the thing, back in season nine, eight, season eight, I went to Worlds. Oh man, I hope it was season eight. I'm pretty sure it was season 8, right? When G2 and Vitality played in the finals and Vitality won. Um, yeah, it was season 8, I'm pretty sure. That's when I went, and I was there with my friend and my family, and we were watching. It was so cool, and... Um, but, you know, it was really cool to see Cloud9, and now they're gone. And Mouse Sports is gone. They were my two favorite teams. But while we were there, I, I became a huge fan of Rogue back when they had Wonder, AJ, and Kronovi. And so I ended up getting an AJ jersey. And so I might be a be a rogue fan now if that wasn't um a thing where the roster went now but now he's on pittsburgh knights but i actually am a pennsylvania local so you know i always like the pittsburgh knights I actually applied almost applied for a position there um i didn't want to move to pittsburgh alone so i ended up not doing it but i thought it would been really cool it was like an esports internship and so yeah being a pennsylvania locale you know i might become like a, a sonics fan or a pittsburgh knights fan but i like aj and i really like the pittsburgh knights branding but at the moment i love g2 and hearing what they've Done. I've heard that they're on a pretty good roll lately. 
that's pretty cool because they were in the finals when I went to Worlds and everyone always loves them, you know, like Rizzo and the boys, it's so cool. Uh, I heard they got Team House now, how cool is that? I miss so much. But I'm so excited to get back in the scene and I feel, I felt like I was gone forever. Like two months I honestly felt like, like the other day I almost had like a breakdown. I was like, I miss Rocket League. Oh, I can't believe I, I won't even like watch it. I get so sad just like watching the pro scene now. But honestly, I haven't missed that much. I was, it feels weird. And there's a noticeable playstyle difference also in how the players are playing from just like two months ago. But I didn't miss that much. The Pittsburgh Knights are all still together. Envy, I heard, got Turbo Pulsa, right? And Cloud9s are squishies on energy now, which is dope. There are some things like that I missed. But I'm right back where I was almost, you know? I'm almost back in the GC. And I'm so glad to be back. And if you, there are any kind of specific content you guys want me to, to make, let me know. I'd be super glad to get back into it. I am. Um, I want this channel to be an Overwatch League and a Rocket League channel. And down the road, if some opportunities open, like if I actually can push as a GC into like rank A and like maybe even like the bubble scene, like right behind our rival series or something, that'd be sick. I'd love to do that, and I'd start you know pursuing Rocket League more if I had to, or not if I had to, but if I could. But, um, yeah, let me skip forward in the video real quick a little bit to the next game. Um, but yeah, if that happens, I'll start pursuing that. I've applied for some Overwatch positions. If that happens, I'll pursue that. Uh, but at the time being, I really love both these games, and I don't, like, you know, why do I need to focus on just one? I, if I want to pursue Rocket League as a player, that doesn't mean I can't pursue Overwatch just for fun on the side, you know? I'm decent in that. I'm in, like, the top 40% of players, so that's nothing great. But it's fun, and I love doing it, I love learning. And I could be better if I played more. Like Rocket League, I never thought it could be good until I just started putting the time in, and then that's when I got the Grand Champ. And it's the same thing with Overwatch. But as for Rocket League, there are several kinds of content I want to go over of what I want to do, and I want to let, want you guys to let me know what you think. So the first stuff, like I said, I want to do a like pro analysis, which is always something I've been fascinated with, with normal sports, with esports, with everything. I love analyzing the pro game, and that's what you know. I watched the. Um, RLCS and I would do my weekly recaps, but I wouldn't necessarily, or, and I would do, I would do week, our game specific recaps and breakdowns, and I love that kind of stuff, so I'm going to continue doing that. Um, I'd also love to start doing player profiles. I, I would, I would do like, um, like almost like scouting reports. Um, I would do breakdown videos and sometimes I'd focus on a specific player, but I'd love to do like an in-depth analysis of a, of a player over like a several series span, not just, you know, one moment he had in game five and how he scored one specific goal. But what makes him good as a player, what makes him weak as a player, all that stuff. And kind of like work on like a scouting report type thing. And I want, I'd love to do like coaching sessions. And so like uh, for you guys or anything, I would love to do replays or whether it's just reviewing my own. Uh, I actually played with Torment, believe it or not, a few months ago back when uh, I like quit Rocket League essentially. It was one of the last games I played because my college internet was really bad. And I come home and the, the home internet is usually pretty good. But then um, it got bad again because Corona and the broadband thing got lowered. But now it's all fixed, and so I'm able to play again. But I played with Torment, and I'd love to like do a breakdown of that game and why I played so atrocious in it because I was shaking in my boots. I was so nervous. Um, and yeah, I'd love to do like uh, I'd love to start scouting the like the bubble scene a bit more and like watching some of those games and breaking down some of those players like up and coming players. And so yeah, let me get, know what you guys think. Overall, I, I'm fascinated by the esports side of thing, and so that's where I'd like to focus most of my attention. And I'm not sure how many uh, people really want to get coached by a rusty grand champ, but <laughs> either way, I think it'd be super fun uh, just to dive into the esports scene a bit more and start covering that. So yeah, I kind of just wanted to say like why I stopped uploading Rocket League, and I never lost a love for the game. I just felt guilty almost that I was playing so much. And, you know, my friends are kind of like, bro, you gotta stop playing Rocket League, you gotta go to parties and, you know, whatever else. But and now I'm, I've realized, you know, I love the game and I'm not gonna give up on it just because social expectations, people might think it's a bit weird thing, but like, it's a real thing. Look at these six players on your screen right now, they all made it. And think of how many dozens of people behind the scenes, like their organizations, their coaches, you know, like Verge for Rocket League, he's made a killing. <laughs> and like. Uh, Fireburner now, he's the coach and stuff. It's so cool to see all these guys make it, and it's not just some goofy thing that 40-year-old guys do in their basement, you know? It's like, it's a real industry, and if you want to pursue it, go after it, you know? And if this opportunity comes around, pursue it, and hey, if it ends up not working out, you know, if that door closes, that's cool, but give your all while you're doing it, 
and I'm gonna have fun with it because I have the time right now and so yeah I just want to let you guys know that I still love Rocket League it's my first love well technically Rocket League or Minecraft was but <laughs> my Overwatch League content won't be going anywhere I still plan on doing daily videos for that but I hope to add some Rocket League so everybody thank you so much for watching and I've been Emrat.